Finally tonight, a groundbreaking new tool promises to make it easier to save lives in mass casualty situations. Sharon Chin shows us it's already been tested on the battlefield. Retired Special Forces medic John Steinbaugh knows it can be agonizing trying to stop the bleeding of one injured soldier while many others are waiting for treatment. How frustrating is that not to be able to do more, more quickly? It's very frustrating. Um, you know, seconds seem like hours on the battlefield. It takes several minutes to pack a wound and stop the bleeding. So Steinbaugh and other medics brainstormed how to speed up the process. The result? Extat, a first of its kind device being produced in Oregon, where he talked to us on Skype. Within 15 seconds, the bleeding stops. It's a syringe filled with 92 mini sponges and coated with a blood clotting chemical. When you inject the sponges into a gunshot, knife, or shrapnel injury, they expand 10 times their size, pushing against the walls of the wound so the bleeding stops. You don't even need to apply pressure with your hands. The sponges do it for you in seconds. They're putting pressure on the sides of the wound cavity, and they're actually squeezing that artery shut. Extat, produced by Rev Medex near Portland, has been used on the battlefield. The FDA approved the tool for civilian use last December. And they also sent to okay. these loose ones there. Oh, nice. We showed the device to Dr. Malini Singh, who sees some of the city's worst trauma victims at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital. She says Extat could help in mass casualties. Blood control early in the scene and even shortly after arrival to our emergency department is crucial to the life of the patient. But as as far as purchasing Extat, the hospital would have to study it and consider the cost, several hundred dollars a piece. It would have to show uh, a relatively favorable, um, you know, benefit cost ratio for us to entertain using it. Steinbaugh says Extat works well on shoulder and pelvic injuries that are hard for a tourniquet to reach. While the device was designed for deep, narrow wounds, it's not as effective for larger injuries. But some hospitals and paramedics around the country are giving it a shot, hoping it will help them save lives. In San Francisco, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. Those animations are a little too accurate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is an emergency room situation, so there's chaos. There, you know, there's a lot of things happening at once. And doctors are always fearful that they may have left something behind. Mm -hmm. But you might have noticed on those little sponges that there's X's on them. Those are markers that can be picked up by X-ray so that doctors assure themselves they don't leave any behind in an emergency situation. So they've thought of everything. Yes, they have. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching.